Hi there, welcome to my channel on any occasion. My name is Rob, and in this channel, uh, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the non alcoholic space uh, if you're exploring it. And in each episode, I'll review a different non alcoholic beverage. On this episode, we're going to look at um, Brooklyn Brewery's uh, non alcoholic special effects Pilsner. Um, they've got another uh, beer as well, it's a hoppy effect. I've also had that. Um, but right off the bat, pretty cool can, huh? You know, again, if you've watched my other videos, you know I don't like it when my can screams, hey, I'm not alcoholic, come talk to me about it. I, I hate that. So I really like when companies do this. Um, Brooklyn Brewery, maybe uh, they're in the craft space. Um, I used to live in Brooklyn, so I'm very familiar with them. Um, and uh, um they got two non-alcoholic products. This is one of them. This packs, uh, I think it says, that's what I'm looking for here on the can. Um, I think it said 90 calories. Let's see. Sorry, 80 calories. Uh, this has 80 calories. Um, and yeah, great. Uh, so a little bit on the higher end, right? And I've said this before, I'll say it again. If you drink alcohol, you see 80 calories in a non-alcoholic beer, you, you know, that may be a deterrent, but for someone who is sober like myself, don't mind if I get to uh, enjoy the beer. So Pilsner, Brooklyn Brewery, uh, cool can. Let's dive in. I'm also looking because uh, on this can is uh, most of the time the company is, will give you the ingredients and if I see yeast, then I know it's been fermented and has gone through that process and then had alcohol removed. Some um, some don't let their uh, beers ferment, but, and I can't quite tell here. Um, anyway, let's dive in. It's a Pilsner, so, lager. Okay, there we are. A little bit on the lighter end. Um, Color-wise, kind of looks like a light lager. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world, but um, maybe it doesn't quite have that golden color, um, that uh, or like deeper color, but that's okay. I don't really mind. Um, decent head, good smell. <laughs> Smells like malty, you know, which is nice. There's no funk. So already a winner right there. Let's try it out. Pretty good. Have a sip. Really nice carbonation. It's light. Um, I taste the malt. It's really nice. Um, you know, a little bready too. Good mouthfeel. It doesn't have a bitter, or funky aftertaste. There's no funk on the smell, which is is great. Good job, Brooklyn Brewery. Um, again, I've always said this, I'll continue to say it, sometimes it happens. And that's a sure loss in my book, but um, this is a habit, it's really good. Hey, nice Pilsner, Pilsner lager. I mean, it kind of makes me think of, um, I don't know, almost like a light lager. Um, it's got just enough flavor that, uh, that it's enjoyable, it's, it's really refreshing. So, um, and I've had this before, I actually didn't expect to uh, um, give it what I'm about to give it, rate it on a scale of one to five. I mean, I don't know, for a Pilsner, this is probably a 4.5, maybe four, 4.5, only because I've had others that, that have a little bit more flavor, other non-alcoholic lagers, um, especially since it's not marketed as like a light lager which kind of tastes like a light lager. This thing has 80 calories. I kind of would expect maybe a little bit more flavor. That's me being a little bit snobby, but it's good. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's good beer. So um, thanks Brooklyn Brewery. Um, and thank you all for viewing. Uh, stay, uh, I'll catch you in my next episode.